Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on using the new Band in a Box for Mac DAW plugin in Logic Pro. With Band in a Box 2019 for Mac, we've introduced a plugin that accesses all of the real tracks, real drums, and other content in Band in a Box, but can be used right inside your favorite DAW. The plugin comes free with the purchase of Band in a Box, and the plugin installs when you install the main program. Right now, we're listening to some great blues tracks playing in Logic Pro that we created with the plugin. Simply by typing in these chords, then we picked this blues style and generated the tracks. I'm going to go back in time a little bit to show you in detail how we got these great sounding tracks. We're going to start with a blank Logic project. When you start a new project, it will ask you what type of track you would like to create. The Band in a Box plugin is an instrument plugin, so I'll create a software instrument track. Logic will load another instrument by default, so let's change it to the Band in a Box plugin. We'll open the mixer by clicking on this fader icon, but you can also press the X key. Now we'll scroll to the input section and change the instrument to the Band in a Box plugin. You can find it under AU Instruments, PG Music Inc, Band in a Box DAW AU plugin. This is the Band in a Box plugin. I'll make it a little bigger so it's easy to read. Here we have a blank chord chart. In order to get our tracks, we need to pick a style and enter some chords. I'll enter a chord progression first. I'll do it in the key of G, and I'll enter a basic major blues chord progression that is 12 bars long. I think that's good. I'll change some of the elements up here. I'll make the end bar 12, and I'll change the choruses to two, so this entire thing will play two times. Now we can select a style either by clicking in the Select a Style area, or by going to the Select menu and picking Select a Style. So here is the list of all of the Band in a Box styles available, and you can see there's over 6,000 to choose from. You can just double click on any style in the list to hear a sample of what it will sound like. For example, I could filter by rock styles and sort them by heaviness, and listen to a few. Or I could filter by funk and listen to some of those. or jazz styles. or maybe some modern styles with synthesizers. Okay, back to the project. We need to find a blues style, so let's view all of the styles again and filter them by blues.
especially like this blues style with a Saul Failcox guitar solo. You'll notice that in this column it shows the ideal tempo of the style, which for this one is 130 beats per minute. That does not mean you have to use it at that tempo, but if it's somewhat close to that, you'll get the best results. And I'll pick a tempo maybe a tiny bit faster than that sample we heard in the style picker, 135 beats per minute, and I'll set that in the plugin as well. When you first add the plugin, it takes the tempo from the DAW, but since we just changed it in the DAW, I need to change it in the plugin as well. We're ready to generate the parts, and there are some custom generation options in this menu, but right now I just want all the tracks generated normally, so I'll press the top Generate button. Notice that right now there are some green squares and a blue square in this area, and those squares are empty. When the tracks are ready, those squares will be filled in. The generation takes a little while, so we'll skip ahead in the video. So now it's finished, and the squares are filled with waveform icons, meaning they're ready to drag into the DAW. Before we do that, we can sample these tracks by pressing play up here. And we can now drag them into the DAW, which can be done individually or as a group. Here I'll show you just dragging in the bass by itself, but I'll undo that. So I can show you importing them as a group by dragging the blue icon. Logic will ask you how you want to drop the tracks. And now we have these tracks right in our DAW. And during playback, the chord chart also highlights the currently playing bar. So you can now mix the tracks, add effects, or anything we like. And as with all real tracks and real drums, these are real instruments played by real musicians. These are not individually sampled notes. These are actual performances by some of the top studio musicians in the world, able to play over any chord progression in any key you enter. This concludes the tutorial on using the Bound in a Box DAW AU plugin with Logic Pro. If you want any more information about the plugin, please go to www.pgmusic.com and navigate to support Mac Plugin. Have fun!